on the boy reaction hey guys other boy reactions here all right so we're back with supernatural season one episode 13 route 666 let's get started okay evil trucker oh my god oh oh shit oh my god Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, ghost truck. She got a call from uh, an old friend. Oh. Her father was killed last night. So oh. Might be our kind of thing. He has a female friend. <laughs> By an old friend. Right. Right. Friend that's not new. <laughs> yeah, we went out. You mean of course. Days. For more than one night. Uh huh. <laughs> Am I speaking a language you're not getting? Here? Well, you usually don't do that. You told her. Why? You, told you must her really like her. Secret. Our big family rule number one, we do what we do and we shut up about it. Two black people were killed on the same stretch of road in the same way in three weeks. It's only Jimmy, black people who are too dying? Close to this. Dean. Are we not hugging? Like, did... How did things end? My brother Sam. Why? She doesn't seem too upset. He was scared. He was seeing things. Now you're sure this dent wasn't there before? No, it's he huge. Sold cars. <laughs> it was a huge Always dent. Always a new one. There wasn't a scratch on that thing. Listen, I'm a little skeptical about this ghost stuff or whatever it is you guys are into. <laughs> skeptical. If I remember, I think you said I was nuts. Oh, was that why they broke up? That was then. Mm. Mm. Okay. Tension. I just know Resentment. that I can't explain what happened up there, so I called you, Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Robbins. We're sorry for your loss. Uh, we'd like to talk to you for a minute, if you don't mind. I'm really not up to that just now. What is this? Doesn't point to foul play. Mayor, the police and town officials take their cues from you. If you're indifferent about what- Indifferent? Happened, would you close the road if the victims were white? Ooh. You suggest an I'm racist, Cassie. Well, you're not doing anything to help. I'm the last person you should talk to like that. Why is that? Why? Why don't you ask your mother? Okay. But you kicked your ass a couple times. <laughs> he does well, not want to talk you about guys it. Never really look at each other at the same time. What you happened? Look at her when she's not looking, she checks you out when you look away. He was hurt. Back in the '60s, there was a string of deaths. Oh. Black men. Why? Story goes they disappeared in a big nasty black truck. Why? They ever catch the guy who did it? Never found it. Hell, not sure they even really looked. Wow. See, there was a time... They are going there in this episode. This town wasn't too friendly to all the citizens. Right. <laughs> the white guy doesn't want to talk about it. You loved her. Oh, God. He doesn't use that word. <laughs> you were in love with her, but you dumped her. No, she dumped you. Oh, wow. She dumped you. Mm-hmm. Did the car. The guy I'm with, the guy I'm hoping might be in my future, tells me he professionally pops ghosts. the words I use. And that he has to leave. If you want out, fine. But don't tell me this insane story. It was the truth, Cassie. And I noticed it didn't sound so insane the minute you thought I could help you. Back then, mm. I thought you just wanted to dump me. I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, you did. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. And we're gonna kiss. <laughs> Okay. We have not gotten a sex scene from him. Some lucky girl. <laughs> it's a CW! Run off to the side. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Alright, first white victim. <laughs> Actually, we were always pretty good at fighting. Mm -hmm. This, we were good at. Getting along, not so much. All the other stuff, not so much. Yeah, yeah I tried. I told you who I really was. It was a big first for me. Why'd you yeah, tell but me? you gotta give her time. I don't know. In my work, um, I see some horrible things. Things that can't be explained. I deal with them. But working things out with you? I'm a scary one, all right. Hmm. No more excuses, okay? From you or me. Not surprising. Probably minimal police work, too. 
Back then, equal justice under the law wasn't too literal around here. Mm hmm. Still not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the courthouse records show that Mr. and Mrs. Mayer bought an abandoned property. It's not gonna do anything. Just get out of the way. Go upstairs. Go upstairs and call Dean. Yes. And go upstairs. God. Why didn't it kill us? Whatever's controlling the truck wants you afraid first. And your daughter could die. So if you yeah. know something, now would be a really good time to tell us about yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Cyrus Dorian died more than 40 years ago. Did you guys kill him? The paper said he went missing. Was that a hit and run? How do you know he died? Hello? We were all very young. I dated Cyrus a while. Uh, oh. I was also seeing Martin in secret, of course. <laughs> Damn. Interracial couples. Didn't go over too well then. Mm -hmm. When I broke it off with Cyrus, and when he found out about Martin, mm. I don't know, he... He changed. Mm. There was a children's choir practicing in there. Fuck. They all died. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But Martin, you see, Martin got loose. Then he started hitting Cyrus and he just kept hitting him and he hit him. Ooh. Well, that's what he gets. Damn, I'm just been living with Why that. Why call the cops? This whole time. Because he would have been sent to jail. They would have killed him. This was 40 years ago. Right, they would have lynched him. He called on his friends and they put Cyrus's body into the truck and then rolled it into the swamp at the edge of his land. And Fuck. all three of them kept that secret all these years. Fuck. <laughs> Gosh, she's so good. <laughs> and now all three are gone. So is Mayor Todd. Uh, now he said that you of all people would know that he is not a racist. What would he he say? kept a secret? He was a good man. He did nothing. Wow. Because he also knew what Cyrus had done. Right. I thought I was protecting them. <laughs> and now there is no one left to protect. Yes, there is. Your daughter. Yes, there is. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> Hello? Um, so simple. Don't leave the house. Don't go getting all authoritative on me. Hmm. I hate it. Don't leave the house, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> it never does. It never does. Okay. Let's turn left. What? God. Oh shit. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now what? You need to go exactly seven tenths of a mile and stop. It's just staring at me. What do I do? Just what you are doing. Bringing it to you. And then what? <laughs> And then what? Give him some information. Some information, Sam. What is he supposed to do? It's just gonna disappear? Why? Why? That's oh, a church. The church, was. church ground is hallowed ground. Whether the church is still there or not. Oh. You know, spirits cross over hallowed ground. Sometimes they're destroyed, so. Oh, nice. I figured. Maybe that would get rid of it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, God. What if you were wrong? Huh. Huh. I don't see much hope for us, Dean. <laughs> okay. Well, I've seen stranger things happen. Goodbye, Dean. I'll see you, Cassie. I will. Don't regard me in any way. That you feel is fair to play. 
you meet someone like her, it'll make you wonder if it's worth it, putting everything else on hold, doing what we do. <laughs> well, that was an interesting one. We finally got to see Dean um, be intimate with someone, open up to someone. Um, this is someone from his past. An old girlfriend who he cared deeply for. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't feel like they had chemistry. <laughs> and it wasn't because he's white and she's black. I just didn't feel like there was anything there um, between the two actors. Um... I mean, he's hot, she's hot. That was basically it. Um, I thought the story was interesting. Um, and I liked that we got to see a little bit of a different side of Dean. You know, we got to see that <laughs> he's capable of, um, you know, caring about someone um, other than his brother. Um... And I thought it was, you know, it's definitely, um, it was definitely progressive of the show back then. When was this? This was early 2000s, right? So, um, you know, to have an inter interracial relationship and it's the first relationship that we've seen, um, one of the main protagonists have, um. Dean, you know, so that's huge. I thought that was, that's awesome. Um, I thought the mom was a really good actress. Um, I thought the story was interesting how, you know, the, the killer was this, this racist guy, um, from, you know, 40 years ago who was pissed off that his girlfriend left him for a black guy and he went and tried to get revenge on him and Martin, you know, got the upper hand and ended up killing him. And, you know, they all tried to cover it up. He and his friends covered it up. The deputy sheriff at the time covered it up. The wife, I mean, his now wife, um, you know knew about it and covered it up. Um, and they carried that with them their entire lives, the rest of their lives. And, um, it came back to bite them, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> I love how the mom was like, there's no one left to protect. There's no one left. It's like, yes, your daughter. She's like, oh, like she forgot. About, she totally forgot about her. Like, hello, like you're not the only one involved in this. Um, but she was a really good actress. I thought, I, I hate that, um, I, I, I thought that Cassie's acting was mediocre. I hate that. I hate saying that. Like, I was excited to have, you know, um, a woman of color and, you know, she's very attractive, um, amazing body, but the... To me, the acting was, like, not there. And the chemistry... Never thought anyone would not have chemistry with Dean, but it's possible. Um, was not there. Um, I enjoyed seeing Sam's um, reaction to his brother opening up to someone and getting involved with a woman and... Um, you know, he, he liked seeing his brother happy and, um, he never gets to see that side of him. And even though Dean didn't really open up to him, um, you know, Sam could still see that, <laughs> that his brother is human <laughs> and that he does have feelings and he does, he does have a heart. Um, you know, he never gets to see that part of him. It was interesting that... Like, you know that, um, this relationship that Dean had with Cassie, um, meant something 
to him because he told her the truth. He, like, he's probably never done that with any of his other relationships. He told her his secret, that he's this ghost monster hunter. Um, but she didn't believe him as, you know, I mean, who would? Um, and she thought that he was just looking for a way out of their relationship. So she tried to beat him to the punch and she broke up with him. Um, and that was unfortunate. But I mean, that's probably going to happen very often with both of these guys if they get involved with anyone else um, down the line. Um, I mean, they can't they can't get involved with regular people because, first of all, they won't understand. Even if they do understand, they will be in danger constantly. Um, so, I mean, and these guys are always on the road. They're always driving around trying to save people. So, I mean, whoever they get involved with will never see them. Um, yeah, and then if they, if they do, if they, like, bring along, you know, a girl that they're involved with, they'll always be in danger. So, it, they're kind of screwed <laughs> in the love department. Um, I liked that Dean got a sex scene. Um, that was the first one that um, we've had so far, which um, is interesting um, because he's always talking about, you know, girls and always checking out girls and, um, you know, he seems like he's this ladies man, but we've never really seen him, um, have anything with anyone. Um, I mean, they haven't really had time and he's always with his brother. So, I mean, but, um, you know, it was nice that he reconnected with someone and there was, there was closure, um, with, you know, how he left things with Cassie because... Now she knows that he always loved her. He knows that she always loved him. But it's not the right time. Um, you know, she said she's a realist and she doesn't see a future um, for them. You know, and that's probably for the best. Like, I don't... They, they can't have a future with anyone. Um, I mean, because they're not going to give up that life. I mean... Dean's not. Um, I'm sure Sam would like to, but he's kind of... He's seen too much. Um, I don't know how you can go back to regular civilian life after that. So I like that Sam asked him at the end, you know, when you meet someone like her, does it make you wonder if what they're doing, all this driving around looking for monsters, is that worth it? Um... And Dean just smiled and put his sunglasses on, didn't answer him, and just said, you know, wake me when it's time for me to drive. Um, he's not going to talk about it. I mean, I think Dean is is married to his job. Um, that will always come first. Like, his job comes first, his dad comes second, and... <laughs> Any girl he meets along the way will always be third. Um, I mean, he loves it too much. Um, he loves that excitement, that danger. I think he also likes helping people. And he also doesn't want to get hurt emotionally. So, you know, what better way to, like, not have to deal with your emotions than going out and, you know, killing bad guys. <laughs> so, um, what I did think was interesting that, you know, even though the mayor guy said that, um, you know, he's the last person that would ever be racist and, you know, if you want to know what I'm talking about, ask, um, your mother. Um, okay, yes, um, it's great that you, you basically looked the other way, um, back in the 60s so that, um, you know, you could help out Martin and, um, his wife and his, his family, um, cover up, you know, the murder of this, of this, a real racist. You know, that's great because, um, if, if you had done, you know, what you were supposed to do according to the law, yeah, Martin would have been sent to jail, um, even though, um, he, it was self-defense, 
when Martin killed um, Dorian um, because of the way things were back then. Most um, and they were in Mississippi, I believe, right? Um, everything would have been against him. He would have been sent to jail, um, maybe even executed because people were racist back then. So yeah, it's great that you you did what you did back then, but and you may not be, you know someone you, you know just because he probably doesn't use the n-word doesn't mean that he's still kind of not being um not racist but definitely um i don't even want to say insensitive i hate that word because um he cassie is telling you that there are dents in the backs of these guys cars it's not like they just crash so obviously something else has, is going on and so, you know, there's a little bit of, um, you know, he's dismissing her a little bit. I mean, you can't, I guess we can't outright say, oh, it's because he's ra he's racist. But I mean, she probably gets that all the time. Um, whether it's because she's a woman, whether it's because she's a woman of color. But I mean, he's she's not being listened to. Um, even if we didn't know about, you know, um, supernatural and ghosts and things like that, I still would have thought, based on that evidence, that... There were um, huge <laughs> dent marks on the backs of these guys' cars um, that they had been ran from the from the back, but um, he like didn't even want to look into it. Um, to me, that's kind of um, the modern day racism, and a lot of people don't even realize that they're doing it. It's like he's basically just dismissing her. It would be different if she was just like some stranger, but he knows her. He knows her mom. He knows these men who um, who were killed, he knew all of them. Like, you're telling me that that's all a coincidence? Like, come on. So, I mean, the fact that he wasn't even willing to look into it was very strange to me. Um, and his, his whole, um, you know, basis for, for that was just, oh, well, it's not because I'm racist, because... Um, your mother would know that I'm not racist, me of all people, because of what I did back in the day. Okay, sir. Um, so, whatever. Bullshit. <laughs> Very interesting episode. Um, I enjoyed it. If you did too, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like full reactions and early reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. Alright, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye. I can't tell you about